Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Financial Futures, your trusted source for the latest updates on economic stimulus packages. Today, we've got some exciting developments to discuss. But before we dive into the updates, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We're here to keep you informed during these challenging times, so let's get started. Now, let's step into the dynamic world of financial futures. We've got some important news to share with you today as we wrap up this month on a high note. Our focus is on the much-anticipated topic of monthly payout dates for October. But that's not all. We're also addressing a significant issue that's shaking up the social security landscape. Buckle up, because this is going to be an exhilarating ride. First things first. Let's talk about the payout dates for October. If you're receiving Supplemental Security Income, SSI, you're in luck. You might recall that SSI recipients received two payments in September, with the first landing on the 29. Guess what? That was your October payment. No need to wait for SSI payments in October. You already received them in late September. Now, for those of you juggling both SSI and Social Security benefits or those with the old-school Social Security benefits acquired before 1997, your payday is on Tuesday, October 3. Just keep in mind that it might take a bit for that money to reach your hands due to banking and mail processing times. But wait, there's more. We can't forget our true Social Security champs, including those receiving retirement survivors, and spousal benefits. If you hopped on the Social Security train after 1997, your payouts are staggered based on your birth month. For those born from the 1 to the 10, it's happening on Wednesday, October 11. If you're in the 11 to the 20 crew, mark your calendars for Wednesday, October 18. And our late month buddies born from the 21 through the 31, your payday extravaganza lands on Wednesday, October 25. Just remember to add a few extra days if you're dealing with mail delays or waiting on your bank. Now, let's shift gears and address a jaw-dropping issue that's been affecting millions of Americans on Social Security. Imagine this, you're receiving overpayments from Social Security, and they're now demanding every cent back. We're not talking pocket change here. According to the SSA Inspector General, they clawed back a staggering $4.7 billion in overpayments last year alone in 2022. But hold on, there's a whopping $21.6 billion still hanging in the balance. Now, who's affected by these demands? It's not just wealthy individuals with overflowing bank accounts. They're targeting some of the most vulnerable folks, people living on fixed incomes possibly with disabilities, and no easy way to repay these overpayments that could be as high as $60,000 all demanded within a 30-day window. That's just unrealistic. So, where does the blame fall? It's a complex web of finger-pointing. Social Security beneficiaries could argue that they didn't cause this mess. And it's also on Social Security as an organization to ensure accurate payouts and swift corrections when needed. But the blame doesn't stop there. What about the politicians who've been scrimping on Social Security funding? It's time for us to hold our elected officials accountable and demand proper funding for these essential agencies. But let's not forget the ripple effects of this issue. It's not just about the money it's about the lives affected. The stress and anxiety caused by these financial burdens can have severe consequences on one's mental and physical well-being. And when you multiply this scenario by potentially millions of affected people, the social and health care costs skyrocket. Moreover, the bureaucratic nightmare of sorting out these overpayments and repayments creates more inefficiencies within the social security system. This system already beleaguered by outdated technology and understaffing, struggles to cope with the immense workload. In conclusion, we need to demand accountability from our elected officials and insist on adequate funding for these vital government agencies. 
This will ensure they can function efficiently and avoid such costly errors in the future. Thanks for joining us today on Financial Futures. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. See you in the next one.